The UC1 EP from Optex FA is an Ethernet IP communication unit. So in order to get the information into the PLC, we need to download an EDS file. So what we're going to do is open up a browser and go to ramcoi.com. Go over here and click Optex FA. And then the easiest way is to look in the search, search box and type in uc1-ep. This will open up the information for it. You can have a brochure, instruction sheet, and then uh, download the EDS file. So we'll download the EDS file. While we're at it, we'll look at the, uh, the information. So this is the Ethernet IP uh, communication module. And with it, you can connect several of Optex FA's uh, sensors. You can connect the uh, CD22 laser measurement sensors, which we're using for this demonstration. You can connect the TD1 edge detection sensors. And then you can also connect the D3RF uh, uh, fiber optic uh, amplifier family. All of those devices can be connected to this communication unit. Um, the fiber optic amplifiers with the, uh, the main and the subs can be connected directly onto the communication unit. And then the laser sensors uh, you'll need to connect using the uh, CDA uh, control. So let's go ahead and get everything wired up. So this is the UC1 EP communication unit, Ethernet IP communication unit. You apply power here. And this is where you connect your Ethernet connector to it. So it's an M12 5 pin cable. Going over to the Ethernet IP port on the PLC. In this case, we're using a Panasonic FP0H PLC. And this right here is the CDA control unit. The CDA control unit has a port on the side that connects onto this communication unit. On this side are another connector where you could then attach another one of these CDA controllers or you could tie on the fiber optic amplifiers so on and so forth so this would be a subunit to connect on to the fiber optic amplifiers and then from here we're connected to an HMI this is the HMI screen this is showing thickness so what it's doing is it's taking input one, well input one and input two from the CD22 laser sensors. So this is one laser connection that reads this value here. And then this one reading this value here. Taking those two numbers, adding them together and then setting up an offset. The offset is based on the distance between this side of the sensor to the to the part and then the distance from this sensor to the part. In the PLC program just set it up as a gauge piece so we tell it 21.00 and then teach it and now you've taught it but all that is done through the sensors communicating with the PLC through Ethernet IP okay let's do a quick demo
If anyone would like more detailed information on how to set up with the PLC, please let me know. I'll be glad to make a little more detailed video on that part of it. Otherwise, if you have any questions or would like more information on these devices, please look us up at ramcoi.com. Thanks for watching, and if this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing and giving us a like. Thanks a lot.